Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to evaluate integral, right? So evaluate integral square root of x into 3 minus 5x into dx. So square root of x equals to x power 1 by 2. So we can replace square root of x by x power 1 by 2 into 3 minus 5x into t. So this equals to integral of 3 into x power 1 by 2 minus 5 into x into x to the power 1 by 2 into dx. Okay. So this equals to integral 3x power 1 by 2 minus 5 into c. Here bases are equal. So powers must be added. You are having x. x means x power 1. Okay. So the powers must be added. We we'll get 1 plus 1 by 2. 1 plus 1 by 2. Into dx. So this equals to integral of 3 into x power 1 by 2. Minus 5 into x power 1 plus 1 by 2 equals to 2 ones of 2. Plus 1 by 2 equals to 3 by 2. Into 3 by 2. So not into it is power. 3 by 2 into dx. Okay. So this equals to. Integral 3 into x power 1 by 2 into dx minus integral 5 into x power 3 by 2 into dx. Now take the constants outside the integral. We will get 3 into x power 1 by 2 into dx minus 5 into integral x power 3 by 2 into dx. Okay. Since integral x power n into dx equals to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus c. For n not equals to minus 1. So this equals to 3 into c. You are having n equals to 1 by 2. And n equals to 3 by 2. In the second integrand. So we don't have any. N which is equals to minus 1. So we are going to apply this formula. So we will get 3 into x power. N plus 1 by n plus 1 minus 5 into x to the power n plus 1 by n plus 1 plus integral constant c. Okay. So we are having 1 plus, okay, 1 by 2 plus 1 which is equal to 1 plus 2 1 sub 2 by 2 which is equal to 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 plus 1 equals to 3 plus 2 ones are 2 by 2 which is equal to 5 by 2. Now replace 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 by 2 and 3 by 2 plus 1 by 5 by 2. So this equals to 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 by 3 by 2 minus 5 into x to the power. You have to replace 3 by 2 plus 1 by 5 by 2 by 5 by 2 plus integral constant C. Okay. So this equals to 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 into 1 by 3 by 2 minus 5 into x to the power 5 by 2 into 1 by 5 by 2 plus integral constant c. Okay. So this equals to 3 into x to the power 3 by 2 into 2 by 3. Minus 5 into x to the power 5 by 2 into 2 
2 by 5 plus 6. Okay. So, you can cancel 3 and 5. You'll get 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 minus 2 into x to the power 5 by 2 plus c. So, this completes the problem. Okay. Therefore, integral square root of x into 3 minus 5x into dx equals to 2 into x to the power 3 by 2 minus 2 into x to the power 5 by 2 plus c. Fine. So, we have seen a problem in this video. Hope you will understand. We will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.